Welcome back to Superstar Glam. Today's video is a declutter video. It is a long overdue. I have so many products I need to go through and get rid of and we are going to get started in lips today. I know I've done a declutter video in the past but ever since then I haven't done another one so like I said it is long overdue and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and click that little button down below become part of the Superstar Glam Squad family and while you're there click the little notification bell so that way you are alerted every time I upload a video so let's get started on this declutter So here is one area of lip products that I have that I need to go through. The other area is this drawer and I have a combo of like lashes and lip products but for sure these lip products I haven't touched in a long time so I'm more concerned about these and then there's this other this little container I have more lip products there and a few here but I'm probably not gonna go through these just because these are newer that I've kind of I throw here for easy access I'm more concerned about this pile right here so we'll see what we get through today just because it is a lot so I don't know how much I'll get through today so anyways let's do this okay so it's three three baskets and like I said um, a lot of these are pretty old Okay, so these Milani lipsticks, for sure, I'm going to get rid of because they're really old. And for the collection, this one I'm not so sure, only because I love the color of it. It's a the Maybelline New Vivids color sensations and this one's in electric orange the only reason i'm keeping this is um or some of these i'm actually keeping to compare them because there are shades that i really like uh for example this one this one's this one was like a dupe it's a, a wet and wild sugar sugar plum fairy and this one's a dupe to the mac I think it was called rebel if i ever want to compare i want to keep it the minis i'm going to keep just because i have some kind of attachment to like little mini um lipsticks look at this dior one so cute i mean i re never really used it this is a rimmel kate kate moss i think it was um lipstick and it is in the shade 104 what are they called lasting finish by Kate and I love this shade this is one of my favorites and I still actually pull it out sometimes it's one of those colors that is like a nude pink that I could wear every day and so I'm gonna keep that these I love uh, they're the the nude sticks and and I just love these because uh, I, you can always sharpen them so I think they last longer than a traditional lipstick this is another one of my favorite uh, shades from I think it's a NYX lipstick is it called yeah it's just from NYX and it's one of those other like really pretty creamy uh, lipsticks 
so I don't want to get rid of the, like shades that I really did love this one is this was the Lori I really don't don't like the formula of, a, of the L'Oreal especially the the scent it has I just can't get past it um, I think this is uh, the, the L'Oreal limited edition ones one's from Eva the other one's Jennifer Lopez I probably just will keep them just for collector purposes and this the Eva one was the one that I liked the most I'll keep that and yeah any all of these other ones I didn't really use and I didn't pull them out these these are uh, the bite beauty lipsticks these I think yes I think that I I got them from Hot Look and they already had some like this funky scent to them so um, it's I think it's by now I think it's it's long overdue to get rid of them here's another Maybelline one just really pale never really used it so I'm getting rid of all this and the ones I'm going to get rid of they're they're old so there's no point in keeping or giving out to anybody so they're going in the trash okay so these are all liquid lipsticks I'm getting rid of these these were never really my favorite formula even though I really like the shades from Too Faced Melted it's their first launch in these and now they're they've been re repackaged so I'm gonna get rid of these I think I like the new formulas better anyway I think these stayed glossy and that's probably why I didn't like them so those are out this one I know this is I think it's on the, sh the shade yeah and it always went on patchy plus um, it's oily so I'm sure it's old here too from the Anastasia I never really liked the formula so most likely I'm never going to use these spicy and person persimmon so and I have newer red orange shades now is another one of those melted I'm also gonna get rid of these the katsu liquid actually I'm probably not I think these aren't that old let me keep that. Here's another melted. These are really old. If you've seen any of my old videos, you know that I did a full video on the LA Girl Matte liquid lipsticks. So I'm definitely getting rid of those because those are old. Here's another Anastasia. I really never used this one. The color just called unicorn it's not my shade here's another one I also never liked this one lovely matte liquid lipstick I don't know if I ever tried these I just made a mess this color is actually really pretty so I'm probably gonna keep this one so back then, I was lo I was looking for a a really good liquid lipstick in that red orange shade, and that's why I had the uh, Anastasia. But the formula wasn't good, and the formula was definitely not good. And the these were the Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipsticks, and they it, it, I had an embarrassing moment wearing these. They come off really patchy so it wasn't cute uh, this was an this was one of our really popular when liquid lipsticks first came out Stila came out with this shade patina and everybody wanted to get their hands on this one I remember being on a wait list to to get this this uh, liquid lipstick actually what I'm gonna do is because it does bring back memories I'm gonna keep it just for comparison reasons so if, if I ever want to compare it to this shade I have it
first collab liquid lipsticks that I purchased. They were Amorazi and Lipland. And there were three of the shades that she created. Montenegro, Brooklyn. And this one does is missing the sticker, so I don't remember. But I'm just going to keep them. Uh, I don't use them anymore because they are old. Now, I think the formula got thickened up. But this shade was really, really pretty. And again, it's one of those those uh, situations that I do want to compare. So, so far, this is what I've, I'm keeping. That's not bad. And then here are more, I guess they're all random stuff. I think they're mostly gloss. That's just what's in here. In this pile, I'm probably going to get rid of almost everything in here. Here is the mountain of lip products that I am actually getting rid of and I am really impressed because I've been hoarding these just because most of these I purchased at the beginning of my channel so I guess I was a little bit attached to them but I'm over it I need to make room my other newer collection is growing so yeah i need to get rid of this stuff purge it move on so i really hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you next time bye